uh, Ms. Mitchell for Senator Graham, and then it's my understanding that, uh, that that's where you'd like to take a break. Does that work for you? Does that work for you as well? well uh, we, we're here to accommodate you, not oh, you thank accommodate you. us. I, I'm used to being collegial. So. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, <laughs> Ms. Mitchell for Senator Graham. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, you told uh, Senator Feinstein in your letter that you and four others were present. You've corrected that today to say it was at least four others. When you were interviewed by the Washington Post, you said that there were four boys present at the party. Um, and then in your polygraph statement, you say there were four boys and two girls. When you say two girls, was that you and another, or was that two other girls? That was me and one other girl. And that other girl's name? Leland. Uh, Leland Kaiser now? Correct. Okay. Um, so then would it be fair to say at least PJ, Brett Kavanaugh, Mark Judge, Leland Ingram at the time, and yourself were present, and possibly others. And one one other boy. So there were four. There were four boys. I just don't know the name of the other boy. So. Have you been contacted by anybody saying, "Hey, I was at that party too"? No, I haven't okay. talked with anyone from that party. Okay. Now, you've you've been detailed about what happened once you got up the stairs, and so I don't need to go through that again. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, you know, oh, I'm sorry. I just realized that I said something that was inaccurate. I said I hadn't spoken with anyone from the party since that. I've spoken with Leland. Okay. okay. Thank you for correcting yeah, that. I appreciate you. that. You've gone into detail about what happened once you went up the stairs, so I don't feel like it's necessary to go over those things again. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Have you told us everything that you do remember about it? I believe so, but if there are other questions, I will. I can attempt to answer them. Okay. Um, you said that the music was solely coming from that room. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. And it was turned up once the three of you were inside that room. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Um, at some point, do you recall it being turned down? I don't remember if it was turned down once I was leaving the house. I don't remember. Okay. Yeah. Likely, since I could hear them walking down the stairs very clearly from the bathroom. Okay. And the bathroom was, sure. door was closed when you heard this. Is that correct? I could hear them very clearly hitting the walls okay. going down the stairwell. Um, in fact, in your letter, uh, you said that they went down the stairs and they were talking with other people mm -hmm. in the house. Correct. Uh, were you able to hear that conversation? I was not able to hear that conversation, but I was aware that they were downstairs and that I would have to walk past them to get out of the house. Okay. Now, let me make sure we're on the same page. Were you not able to hear the conversation or not able to understand the conversation? I couldn't hear the conversation. I was upstairs. Okay. How do you know there was a conversation? I'm just assuming since it was a social gathering, people were talking. I don't know. Okay. In I your letter, hear them you... talking as they went down the stairwell. They were laughing and. Okay. In your letter, you wrote both loudly stumbled down the stairwell. At which point, other persons at the house were talking with them. Mm -hmm. Does that ring a bell? Yes, I had to walk past everyone to leave the house. So, okay. I'm not, your letter. I'm not understanding. I'm sorry. Okay, your um, next sentence. Let me try to clarify this. Uh, after you said other persons at the house were talking with them, the letter goes on with the very next sentence. I exited the bathroom, ran outside of the house, and went home. Correct. Okay. You said that you do not remember how you got home. Is that correct? I do not remember. Okay. Other than that, I did not drive home. Okay. I'm going to sh show you if somebody could provide to you a map of uh, the various people's houses at the time. And if you could verify that this is where you were living at the time. Where I was living at the time? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mr. Chairman, do we have a copy of these documents? 
you want one, we can get you one. Yes, before the questions begin, so we can follow the testimony. Okay. My staff says that we should not provide the copy. No, we will provide the copy. Oh. <laughs> we will provide the copy. Uh, well, speak plainly with me, please. Oh, sure. I'd no, like not, to see what you. she's My looking at. <laughs> yeah. 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 You, you have another 30 seconds now because I was rudely interrupted. Okay. Um, Mr. Chairman, uh, Senator Harris, we do have a, a blown up copy of this for the members to view, if that's helpful. Okay, I'm going to put check marks next to homes that I can confirm are the correct locations and then an X or a question mark when I don't know where these people live. I'm only asking you to confirm if that map accurately shows where you were living at the where time. Where I lived at the time. So um, I can't see the street name, but I'm happy to refer to the address or the neighborhood. Okay, could you tell us that? Yes, it's uh, River Falls. Okay. It's near the, like... Uh, what is the place called? The Naval Research Center on uh, Clara Barton Parkway. Okay. Was that a house or an apartment? It was at my parents' home. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Durbin. Mr. Chairman, I ask consent to enter into the record. Um, 